In this video, I'll be showing you how to import from the commons a course shell that you can use if you wish to get started on laying out your course. To do that, go to uh, import from commons on the right side of your screen where it says import from commons and click on that. When you get to the commons, the easiest way is probably just to search for me. And the course shell is the one here in the middle. Click on the words course structure shell. And you can have a look at it up front and see if you want to, uh, it's something you might be interested in using or not. Some of the uh, details are here. A bit of a preview may appear here. It may take a little while to load. But uh, it includes things like a, uh, some s a sample of what you might want to do to set up your introduction, a few introductory pages you may want, and a few other things. I'll show you those in a moment. But to bring those into your course, uh, all you have to do is click on Import, and then tell it which course you want to import it into. And in this case, I want to import it into my sandbox demonstrator that I have. Uh, my other courses you can see there and I'll just tell it to import into that course now that will probably take a few minutes but some of the things that the course includes are pages already set up with some templates basically for the course description and some other things you might want and some directions on the other areas that you'll probably want to set up including the syllabus some examples of some other sorts of things you may want to set up to uh, get back to the course that you've imported this into, just click on Courses and return to the course. I put it in the Sandbox Demonstrator. So I'll go back to the Sandbox Demonstrator. And the Sandbox Demonstrator course is, that, was, that just came in from there, that was blank before. Now there's a, that's showing as a home page. Everything here can be edited. So you simply click on Edit and you can edit the title, you can change the picture, you should certainly add in your own course description. And the there are there is some basic text here that will uh, that can help get your students started. And you probably want to put in your course learning outcomes for the students. This is currently set at as the home page for the course, but you can edit that and change that as you see fit. Let me cancel that. I don't need to edit that right now. When I click on Home, uh, that's the page I see. I can always change that from here so that I can show the modules or other things uh, that I wish to do. I can do that from here. And uh, or I can have the assignments list, whatever I want. So many other things you'll want to uh, begin to set up. Probably the other key thing, the syllabus fill in the pieces of your syllabus that you want adjust the grading scheme to be that which you are uh, going to use and I'll have to show you in a moment what your options are on that there are a couple grade scheme options uh, and then the course summary and some of the other uh, things that will appear down there that will appear automatically as you fill out the course there's a couple items down here that won't show up there are things that I made that are still sitting inside this particular sandbox demonstrator course but fill all of these out you can get an idea of what assignments look like from the assignments page there'll be a couple assignments here and I'm just showing you basically how that page lays out but what you'll probably want to work next is after you get the uh, home page and syllabus set up you'll probably want to work on your modules I've set up a basic introductory module here each of these, this has the directions to, to you as an instructor, what you might want to work on to set, uh, pages you may want to edit and work on. Go to view all pages to see all pages. Uh, when you go to pages, uh, you'll initially only see that home page. You just click on view all pages and you can see all the pages. And each of these pages will need filling out. Uh, whether you use this page or not is up to you your course your design but these are some of the recommended pages one should probably have that's the front page there 
uh, it's called the uh, course description in this case. The course resources, if appropriate, include a page on course resources. Uh, how to use Canvas has some link to some Vimeo videos on how to do some of these things in Canvas. This is for the students. This is for the students. Uh, I've also uh, um, we've got a little playground there. That's just a. Um, it's nothing there. It's a blank page at this point. And so you can set up set up these pages. Uh, there's a couple other pages that relate to things in the module. The modules are how you structure your course. So there's the introductory materials, and you can set those up. There's a discussion. You can modify that as well. It's the modules is where you set up your course at. And you can see here that this course shell includes a kind of a starter module. This would be one where you might have an opening overview. And that's currently a page, and you can edit that page. And it has an overview of things you might want to tell the students at the beginning of a particular module. Uh, a sample assignment. There's no assignment there, but again, in case it does give you some of the details about how to begin to set up an assignment. And discussions, presentations, uh, which would be just an assignment, but submitted as a presentation. And there's a quiz. I do recommend at this point using classic quizzes. This will come up when you go to set up new quizzes. Just choose classic quizzes for now. New quizzes is an area still under development and not expected to fully deploy until 2022. There are some other ideas here. These modules can be deleted, edited, moved. You can delete them. You can edit them. Uh, you can drag them from these things, drag those pieces around. You can do whatever you want. But this is another idea. This is a curriculum structured around 4D, discover, discuss, demonstrate, deepen. Some That's a model, a curriculum model. Another model is a 5E model, engage, explore, expand, evaluate, extend. This would be a, a module. But my guess is that uh, many will set up around weeks, like week one, or units, unit one. And that's fine too, and there'll be assignments and discussions, presentations. You can have links. This does not include links to external material, but you can do that. You simply go into here and tell it what you want to add. If you have an ex if you have a file you're trying to upload, you can do that from here. Uh, you can pull a file in. These are files that are sitting in the file folder. I'll show you that. Or you can link to an external resource like a URL. I do that more often myself. But if you do want to link to a file, Files get uploaded to the files area, and so you can upload files, you can organize them in folders, and then you can add those files to your modules. But you'll probably want to go to files first and upload files before you actually try to put them in the uh, modules. And you can see some of the files I have include things like the course images in here, and some other things are here. So you can do the do the same thing to, uh, to upload and add them to modules from here. And that's just plus over here on the right. And then you just add whatever it is you're trying to add, a quiz, a page. You should make them first. The quiz, you want to make the quiz first. You can create a quiz from here, but I find it easier to just make the quiz from the quiz area down here. Make a quiz. Same idea, add a quiz. And as I say, I usually use classic quizzes because new quizzes are still under development and there are a number of areas that new quizzes still don't perform. Later there will be a conversion from classic to new quizzes available. Uh, beyond that, some of the other areas you'll probably look at are discussions. People list who's in your course, which is just me. Uh, this is a sandbox demonstrator course. Of course the pages, we already looked at those, the files. Um, outcomes. You'll want to pick up the course level outcomes. They're available from the FIND, Account Standards, College of Micronesia. Your, your outcomes should be in here. Uh, they're still being loaded at the time this video is being made. So if your course isn't listed, do please let me know that maybe I, we haven't gotten as far as this, to that particular course yet and I'll go make sure that gets uploaded for you but all you have to do is go to your course that you're trying to get the outcome for 
say an EN class, EN 1101, and then just go down to the bottom where it says import. And you can say yep. And now that will now appear in your outcomes right there. So your course learning outcomes load in and that will feed data back to the assessment system on the back end. But you do have to pull them, your course learning outcomes, you should pull those from the institutional bank, Account Standards College of Micronesia. Don't enter them yourself. Pull the course learning outcomes from here. These course learning outcomes come from the website and uh, the college website. So if they are not correct, uh, again, let me know. And we'll uh, work on getting those updated to the current ones. But the outcomes are the ones currently listed on the college website, which is our official source for outcomes. You can then add those to rubrics and put those rubric, you know, as you see here, I have a rubric with some learning with a course level learning outcome. You can add your own specific learning outcomes and then you just attach that to one of your assignments. So I've got an assignment 5.4 and uh, currently it has a rubric. So let me toss off that rubric so I can show you how that got there. I just click on this tell it to find one. I already built that rubric from the rubrics area and I'll just click on this and say uh, data exploration. I want that rubric. I do have one more step I have to do. I have to click on this pencil, a little awkward, and I have to tell it go ahead and use this for grading. In Canvas you don't have to use a rubric as your grade if you don't want to. You can assign a grade separate from your rubric. So you can have a rubric and a separate points grade that you're going to type in my classes my rubrics are my points so I'm going to go ahead and say use this rubric for assignment grading but it's an option and it will notify me that my rubric I've chosen is going to alter the total number of points so I'll, I'll tell it to update that and it will update the points so that gets me if I want uh, to course learning outcomes on rubrics if that's useful to me there are some other areas uh, you can certainly explore Conferences are available. You can set those up. Uh, I haven't worked in collaborations. I have not done much work in Studio. Studio lets you bring in video, and then uh, you can track uh, data for when the students, how which students watched, and how long they watched, and what sections they watched. So these particular uh, videos, which are videos from one of my courses you can get a hold of data like who who actually watched and when what sections were they watching you can see this person watched only the middle from here to here this person watched nothing these are just test students and there's me uh, and I watched only the beginning and the middle but then which is true I skipped those other parts so that's something to play with uh, I don't haven't done a lot with this, but I'll certainly help anybody to the best of my ability with this particular material, with the studio material. So as you're working in studio, if you uh, use a studio, my library, uh, one of the things I've got you can see is a, stu a quiz. You can do quizzes on top of video in Canvas. Well, that's a lot to cover in the first, but we did want to show you how to get started and that there is this ability to pull from the commons uh, a shell that can help you get started in Canvas, get you a little bit of a leg up in Canvas and using Canvas. Uh, you simply, uh, well, if you're in search, using from search, you type me, and you will find that course shell that can, that can get you started on this by importing it into the course that you, that you want to bring it into. So with that, you can get some kind of a start on your class and a, a, a place to, to begin from. Thank you for listening, and as always, please ask if you need assistance.